And I know you're looking at that weather forecast being like, what should I wear? What should I bring? <laughs> Marielle's here. Oh, um, wear the sunscreen because at times the Always. sun will be out. Always. Always. Bring the umbrella because we'll Just likely see case. some rain. Cool. And make sure to have a plan to be close to somewhere that you can get inside in case you hear thunder. All very great tips. I mean, it's just not kind ideal, of, but not great ideal, tips. Not ideal, but hey, last year during Pride, it was so hot. You had to get your brother to pick up your dogs. Yeah, I had brought my dogs with me, and I was like, <laughs> bro, can you please come get them? It's too hot that. for them. Um, not going to be the case this time around, so there is there one go. good part yes. about this rain and cloud cover is that we're actually staying in the mid 80s. It's still going to be humid, so definitely plan on staying hydrated still and all that good stuff. At temperature today, 91 degrees. We're not going to see much of the rain today, but we do have the risk to see some storms tonight across our western counties. And then it'll be really scattered on Saturday and Sunday, and I'll show you what I mean by that. We're looking at some cloud cover overhead right now. We also see a little bit of that blue sky over Cedar Hill. Something else to note for today is that it is an ozone action day. What that means is that we're expecting high levels of ozone throughout the day. The pollution is elevated, so if you do have respiratory issues, make sure to try to limit your time outside. Uh, we're also looking at temperature climbing 89 degrees by 3, 91 degrees around 5, southeast wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. I mean, overall today, it's going to be pretty calm. Temperatures in the low 90s across DFW, upper 80s for our western counties. So not quite as warm for our western counties, and it's because of the added cloud cover that we're seeing. Not only that, but we also have the potential to see some storms tonight, and this is all thanks to a cluster of storms that forms in West Texas. So we have a slight risk for our far western counties. We're talking Abilene area and then an enhanced risk that extends from the Trans-Pecos, the Permian Basin into West Texas and into the Panhandle. That's where we're going to see additional severe storms spark up today. Yesterday, these storms caused flooding outside of Lubbock. Today, we're going to see these storms extend from Amarillo to Midland south of there as well, closer to Pecos by around four or five. Those storms will continue to work their way towards the east, making it into our western counties. This is going to happen late today around 10 or 11 and the closer it gets to the Metroplex, the more these storms are going to decay. But with that being said, these storms can still cause some heavy rain, some lightning and of course that potential for strong winds. The highest coverage will be well to the west at about a 50% for us here locally and the Metroplex about 30% coverage Saturday going to be all over the place. So we're going to see about 40% coverage for the Metroplex. It goes up for our northeastern counties. Let me show you why. This is Saturday in the morning around 9. We're going to see mostly dry conditions across the Metroplex. We'll see a few little showers popping up, but more activity starts in the afternoon. So this is around midday. Look at what happens in the afternoon. We see a bulk of the activity northeast of the Metroplex. Again, very scattered. There's not a whole lot of organization with this or with the rain that we're expecting on Sunday either. So Sunday, I'm going to stop the clock at two. That's when the parade starts. We're looking at cloud cover. We may see some scattered activity across the area, and then we'll see that coverage increase for the afternoon around four or five under the heat of the day. We'll see a lot of the activity then shift more towards the south. Again, very scattered in nature. We could pick up a quick half inch of rain for the Metroplex over the weekend. We're expecting daily storm chances next week as well. It's not going to be a washout on any day, but just plan on seeing some of this stuff over the weekend and highs stay in the upper 80s early next week. We'll be back.